Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Surface area and volume. In this chapter we will start with surface area of a combination of solids. Then we shall move to volume of a combination of solids. Further we shall study conversion of solids from one shape to another. Finally we will move to frustum of a cone. We are familiar with solids like cuboid, cylinder, cone and sphere. Let us recall lateral surface area of cuboid is given by 2 times height into length plus breadth. Total surface area is given by twice length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length and volume is given by L into B into H that is length into breadth into height. Curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is given by 2 pi R H where R is the radius of the base and H is the height of the cylinder. Total surface area is 2 pi r into r plus h and volume is pi r square h. Curved surface area of the right circular cone is given by pi r l where r is the radius of the base and l is the slant height. Total surface area is pi r into r plus l and volume is 1 by 3 pi r square h where h is the height of the cone. Surface area of a sphere is given by 4 pi r square and its volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of the sphere. In our day to day life we come across a number of solids made up of combination of two or more of the basic solids. So let us learn to find surface area and volume of combination of solids. Say following is the shape of some container then how do we find the surface area of such a solid? We try to break this problem into smaller problem. We can see that this solid is made up of a cylinder in the center with two hemispheres stuck at either sides. So the total surface area of this container is equal to sum of the curved surface areas of each of the individual parts that is curved surface area of one hemisphere plus curved surface area of cylinder plus curved surface area of the other hemisphere. Let us now take up some examples and understand the concept more thoroughly. Let us read the question. Rashid got a playing top as his birthday present which surprisingly had no color on it. He wanted to color it with his crayon. The top is shaped like a cone surmounted by a hemisphere. The entire top is 5 cm in height and the diameter of the top is 3.5 cm. Find the area he has to color. So we have a cone with a hemisphere on its head. So the total surface area of this top will be equal to curved surface area of the hemisphere plus curved surface area of the cone. Let us first find curved surface area of hemisphere which is equal to half of the curved surface area of complete sphere which is given by 4 pi r square that means it will be given by 2 pi r square we are given that diameter is 3.5 centimeters so radius will be 3.5 by 2 
substitute in the formula we get 2 into 22 by 7 in, into 3.5 by 2 into 3.5 by 2 and the unit should be centimeter square. Now curved surface area of the cone will be given by pi rl. We know that radius will remain same. So that is 3.5 by 2 and now we need L that is the slant height which is given by under root of R square plus H square. So we need to find H. Height will be equal to 5 centimeters minus 3.5 by 2 which is the radius which is equal to 3.25 centimeters now we can find L by substituting R and H in the formula on calculations we find that slant height is equal to 3.7 centimeters approximately Now we can calculate curved surface area of the cone. It is pi into r into l centimeter squares. Now substitute curved surface area of the hemisphere and curved surface area of the cone in the total surface area of the top formula after substitution we can see that 22 by 7 and 3.5 by 2 is common so we so we take that common and solve further to finally find total surface area of the top to be 39.6 cm square also note that to find total surface area of the top we are considering curved surface area of the hemisphere and curved surface area of the cone and not the total surface area of the two figures let us read the question the decorative block shown in the figure is made up of two solids a cube and a hemisphere the base of the block is a cube with edge 5 cm and the hemisphere fixed on the top has diameter 4.2 cm find the total surface area of the block here we should analyze that part of the cube where the hemisphere is attached is not included in the surface area. So the total surface area of this whole block will be given by total surface area of this cube minus area of the base of the hemisphere plus the curved surface area of this hemisphere. Let us start by finding total surface area of the cube. We know that it is given by 6 times the edge square. So we have 6 times 5 square which is equal to 150 centimeter square. Next, we need base area of hemisphere. Which will be given by pi r square as it is a circle. 
Now since diameter is 4.2 cm, so radius will be 4.2 by 2 cm. Hence we get base area of the hemisphere equal to 22 by 7 into 4.2 by 2 into 4.2 by 2 cm square. Now it remains to find curved surface area of the hemisphere which is given by 2 pi r square. So this comes out to be 2 into 22 by 7 into 4.2 by 2 into 4.2 by 2 centimeter square. Substitute all the values in the first equation. Notice that instead of writing the values we have taken the expression because this can make our calculations easier. Here we will get 150 plus pi r square which will give us 150 plus 22 by 7 into 4.2 by 2 into 4.2 by 2 which is equal to 150 plus 13.86 so total surface area of the block comes out to be 163.86 cm square